Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, happy new year. Welcome to the new year. I am so excited. Last year was just a trying year, but we made it through. We made it to 2022. So I'm just sending you and your family just blessings and just prosperity, good health and all of that in the new year. And I hope you guys um, practice gratitude and discipline and just bettering yourself ne this year. Sorry, I'm <laughs> so used to saying next year, but it's, this is next year. Well, you know what I mean. It's 2022, it's the first day. I'm doing two videos today, so if you see this whole, like, it looks the same, it's because I'm doing a foundation review. So today we're gonna be doing a review on the new Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick. I ended up picking this up, so we're going to be reviewing it today. So hope you guys are interested in that. So go ahead and please keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. And again, happy new year, you guys. This is my first official product from Rare Beauty. I did end up getting the Rare Beauty like blush kit for my birthday. It was like a Sephora birthday gift. I haven't even used it yet, but I do still I do have it. But this is the first official product that I ever got from Rare Beauty, and it's the bronzer stick. I believe this just came out. And I ended up picking up the shade Always Sunny. It's just like the medium spectrum. It's a rich caramel with neutral undertones. So we'll see how this works and how it looks. So it's a stick formula, which is nice. Let's read, I'm just reading a little bit about it. So it's a bronzing stick for a quick and visible sun-kissed glow with a smooth, seamless second skin finish. Just swipe on, blend, and go. It's an innovative liquid-like cream bronzer stick that melts into the skin for a visible Visible sun-kissed warmth that won't fade. Ultra blendable and buildable. It glides on weightlessly, making it easy to softly sculpt the, the face. The non-greasy water-resistant formula won't cake, crease, or clog pores, which is nice to hear. I don't need my cl pores clogged and water-resistant. This is gonna be really good for the summer, you guys. You could blend it with the fingers. It doesn't settle in your creases. It's weightless. It glides on smoothly and um, it wears evenly and does not fade, which is nice to hear. And this is $23, which is not bad at all. And you get 0 0.25 ounces, which is seven grams of product in here. And it kind of looks like one of those old like makeup crayons, which is nice. And it just says Rare Beauty on it. I think this is a gold top. It doesn't feel cheap, but it is plastic. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on. Like I said, this is the shade Always Sunny. I will do a little swatch here so you can kind of see the shade. That's actually nice. It's a nice shade. And let's just kind of blend it out with our fingers to see how it looks. That blends out really nicely. And it does not feel like a cream. It feels like a powder almost. It doesn't feel greasy. So that is truth. And it does blend out <laughs> nicely. So the claims so far are accurate. What I'm going to do is sculpt the face and then we're gonna just use a brush to blend it out. Cause I really don't like using my finger. I have tried it like the, with the foundation that I am testing now, I did blend it out with my finger. So I think I'm gonna to stick to a brush cause I do like to blend with a brush. So this is the Real Techniques face base brush. I like to use this for my bronzer. I'm just gonna go ahead and flick it up. And oh yeah, that blended out <laughs> nicely, like with no effort. Okay, Rare Beauty. Okay, Rare Beauty. Okay. You guys, you know, maybe I need to try their foundation because this bronzer stick is nice. Yeah, that blended out <laughs> for sure effortlessly. Like, for real. Look at that. And it's definitely a sun-kissed look. It's a nice shade. So this is in the, the medium spectrum. And it looks like I barely like used it. You don't need that much product. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to 
get some more product from Rare Beauty. So let me try to blend out my nose. I'm not really good at nose contouring, so we're about to see how it looks. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> blend it out nicely. It is literally blending out ever effortlessly. So like when you're on the go, like me, like you don't have time to actually do a full face of makeup because everything just takes so long to blend. And you know, for it to look good, you have to blend out everything. Like everything needs to blend, be blended together to look seamless. It takes, a t it takes time, especially for me, because I like my makeup to look like skin, so I need it to be blended out nicely. This the, is so easy to blend. I mean, it is... Um, <laughs> it's blending. I'm just gonna take the extra and put it under here, my jawline. I don't really like to draw it on there. I just like to take the extra and put it down here. But baby. This right here, this <laughs> this is really good. And it is not too thick. You don't need that much. It literally blends like butter. And the formula is not greasy like they said because I felt it on my hand. It blended out on my arm. And it's still there on my arm. You need to get this. You need to buy this. I finished the face. I put the powders on, the setting spray, and all of that. But the bronzer looks so good. It works so well with the foundation. I ended up using the Skin Fenty Beauty Skin Tint the eavesdrop one i'm doing a video on this now so look out for this video this rare beauty one is going to be up before the skin tint so be on the lookout for that one but anyways shameless plug <laughs> anyways the bronzer like it blended so well with the eavesdrop foundation and i'm sure it'll blend well with other foundations as well like i said there is not it's a non-greasy formula because i blended it out in my hand and you felt no grease it still gave you a little bit of shine though like as you can see I'm, I'm, I got the shine glow. I got the glow going. It's a nice shade. It works well under powders. I ended up using the LYS Beauty Bronzer. This is in the shade Courage Tan. And it's a matte bronzer, but it still works really well on top of this stick bronzer. It looks really good. And it blended out nicely, especially on my nose. I have problems with blending out like these type of sticks on my nose. So I usually don't do it. I usually don't go, um, I usually don't put it on my nose, but this one blended out so nice. The formula of this, it's good. So honestly, I really like this product. I do advise you guys to try it if you are in the market for a new stick bronzer. This one is actually really, really nice. And it's making me want to buy more stuff from Rare Beauty. I'm glad I, I looked into it and got it. I think I was on Sephora and I seen like new stuff and this popped up and I was like, oh yeah, let me try it. And they also ended up releasing a powder that I didn't get because I had bought some other stuff. But anyways, yes, yes, yes. The answer is yes. The answer is yes, get it, you need it. Get it. All right, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Again, happy new year. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. We made it to 700 subscribers. All right, y'all. See you in the next one. And the next one is going to be the Fenty Beauty Skin Tint. So go ahead and look out for that one. All right, y'all. Bye, guys.